Welcome back to our channel Z Media, dear viewers. Today, we pay tribute to the stars who bid us farewell on this solemn day. From Hollywood icons to musical legends, their legacies continue to shine brightly in our hearts. So grab a tissue, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's dive into the lives of those we'll forever remember. Doris Brown, an American-born Taiwanese educator and Christian missionary, passed away today, August 6, 2024, at the age of 98. Born on August 5, 1926, in Seattle, Doris Brown dedicated her life to education and missionary work. At the age of 12, she resolved to share God's love with the Chinese people, a mission that would define her life's work. After graduating from the University of Washington in 1948, Doris traveled to China, where she witnessed the Chinese Civil War firsthand. She moved to Hong Kong in 1949 and then to Taiwan in 1951 where she began her lifelong mission of teaching and spreading hope. In Taiwan, Doris worked with the Atayo tribe in Huolin County, teaching English and music. She was affectionately known by the Atayo name Lebek, meaning Lily of the Valley. Her passion for education led her to found Studio Classroom in 1962, an English teaching program that has since educated hundreds of thousands across Asia. Believing in the power of media, Doris also founded Overseas Radio and Television, incorporated and produced Taiwan's first Christian TV program, Heavenly Melody. The show's choir, the Heavenly Melody Singers, has performed in 34 countries, sharing their music globally. Doris's contributions to Taiwan were recognized with numerous awards, including the Order of Brilliant Star, Taiwan's highest non-military honor. In 2023, she became a Taiwanese citizen, a testament to her deep connection with the island. Doris Brown's legacy is one of dedication, compassion, and unwavering faith. Her work has left an indelible mark on education and Christian missionary work in Taiwan and beyond. Doris Brown's life reminds us of the profound impact one person can have on the world. She will be deeply missed, but her legacy will continue to inspire future generations. Ismail Berdayev, a prominent Russian Sunny Mufti, has passed away today, August 5, 2024 at the age of 70. Ismail Berdia was a significant figure in the North Caucasus region of Russia, known for his controversial views and strong influence within the Islamic community. Born on February 27, 1954, in the village of Belibadi in what is now Kazakhstan, Berdiyev's life was marked by both religious devotion and public controversy. Berdiyev's early years were shaped by the displacement of his family during the Soviet era. They returned to Karachay Cherkasha in 1957, where Burnayev would eventually rise to prominence as a religious leader. He studied at the Murray Arab Madrasa in Bukhara and the Imam Ismail al Bukhari Islamic Institute in Tashkent, solidifying his religious education. Throughout his career, Burnayev was known for his outspoken views on various social issues. Perhaps most controversially, he advocated for female genital mutilation claiming it was a way to eliminate sexual depravity and reduce lechery. These statements sparked outrage both within Russia and internationally, drawing condemnation from human rights organizations and religious leaders alike. Despite the controversies, Berdayev remained a powerful figure in the North Caucasus, with many followers who respected his religious authority. His death marks the end of an era for the region's Islamic community. As we reflect on the life and legacy of Ismail Berdayev, we are reminded of the complex and often contentious role that religious leaders can play in shaping societal norms and values. His passing leaves a significant void in the North Caucasus, and his influence will undoubtedly be felt for years to come. Kathleen Hughes, a beloved figure in the world of comedy and entertainment, passed away today. She was 95 years old. Kathleen Hughes was a name synonymous with laughter and joy. Born on November 14, 1930, in Hollywood, California, she began her career in the early 1950s, quickly becoming a household name. Her unique blend of wit, charm, and impeccable timing made her a standout in an era dominated by male comedians. Comedy is about connecting with people, making them see the world through a different lens, and most importantly, making them laugh. Hugh's career spanned over six decades, during which she starred in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. She was best known for her roles in classic films like It Came From Outer Space and The Glass Web, as well as her unforgettable performances on television shows such as The Twilight Zone and Perry Mason. 
Her versatility as an actress allowed her to seamlessly transition between genres, from science fiction to drama, and of course, comedy. But it was her work in comedy that truly set her apart. Hughes had a natural ability to find humor in the mundane and bring it to life on stage and screen. Beyond her professional achievements, Kathleen Hughes was also a dedicated philanthropist. She used her platform to support numerous charitable causes, including children's hospitals and cancer research. Her generosity and kindness touched the lives of many, both on and off the screen. Kathleen Hughes leaves behind a legacy of laughter, love, and compassion. She will be deeply missed by her family, friends, and countless fans around the world. As we remember her today, let's celebrate the joy she brought into our lives and the indelible mark she left on the world of entertainment. Kathleen Hughes, a true icon of comedy, whose laughter will echo in our hearts forever. Vera Miles, who passed away today. She was 94 years old. Vera Miles, a name synonymous with classic cinema, leaves behind a legacy that has shaped the film industry for decades. Let's take a moment to reflect on her remarkable life and career. Born Vera June Ralston on August 23, 1929, in Boyce City, Oklahoma, Vera Miles began her journey in the entertainment world with a beauty pageant win, being crowned Miss Kansas in 1948. This victory led her to Hollywood, where she signed a contract with RKO Pictures. Vera Miles is perhaps best known for her roles in two iconic films, The Searchers, 1956, and Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, 1960. In The Searchers, she starred alongside John Wayne, delivering a performance that remains etched in the annals of Western cinema. Her portrayal of Leela Crane in Psycho showcased her versatility and cemented her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. Despite her success, Vera Miles often shied away from the limelight, choosing to focus on her family and personal life. In an interview from the 1980s, she spoke about her decision to step back from Hollywood, emphasizing the importance of family over fame. Vera Miles was a devoted mother and grandmother. Her family was her sanctuary, and she found joy in the simple pleasures of life away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Her filmography is a testament to her talent and dedication. From the man who shot Liberty Valance to the wrong man, Vera Miles brought depth and authenticity to every role she played. Her contributions to the film industry have left an indelible mark, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers. Today, we bid farewell to Vera Miles, a true icon of the silver screen. Her legacy will continue to live on through her films and the countless lives she touched with her performances. Vera Miles, thank you for the memories. Gina Rollins, the iconic actress, known for her powerful performances and enduring legacy, passed away today, August 6, 2024, at the age of 94. Gina Rollins was a force to be reckoned with in the world of cinema. Her career spanned over six decades, during which she captivated audiences with her extraordinary talent and emotional depth. From her early days in television to her unforgettable roles in films like A Woman Under the Influence and The Notebook, Rollins left an indelible mark on the industry. Born on June 19, 1930 in Madison, Wisconsin, Rollins began her acting career in the 1950s. She quickly gained recognition for her work in television, but it was her collaborations with her husband, director John Cassavetes, that truly showcased her brilliance. Together, they created some of the most groundbreaking and emotionally charged films of their time. Rollins' portrayal of Mabel Longhetti in A Woman Under the Influence earned her an Academy Award nomination and solidified her reputation as one of the greatest actresses of her generation. Her ability to convey raw emotion and vulnerability was unparalleled, and she brought a unique authenticity to every role she played. In 2004, Rollins delivered another unforgettable performance in The Notebook, directed by her son, Nick Cassavetes. Her portrayal of Allie Hamilton, a woman battling Alzheimer's disease, resonated deeply with audiences and showcased her incredible range as an actress. The film became a beloved classic, and Rollins' performance remains etched in the hearts of millions. Throughout her career, Rollins received numerous accolades, including four Emmy Awards and an honorary Oscar, for her contributions to the art of acting. Her influence extended beyond the screen, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers to push the boundaries of storytelling. Gina Rowland's legacy will live on through her remarkable body of work and the countless lives she touched with her performances. 
She leaves behind a rich tapestry of characters and stories that will continue to inspire and move audiences for generations to come. Tonight, we remember Gina Rollins, a true icon of the silver screen. Her talent, passion, and dedication to her craft will never be forgotten. Tina Louise, the beloved actress best known for her iconic role as Ginger Grant on the classic television series Gilligan's Island, has passed away today. She was 90 years old. Tina Louise was born Tina Blacker on February 11, 1934, in New York City. She began her career on stage in the mid-1950s, before making her film debut in 1958 with God's Little Acre, a performance that earned her the Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year. However, it was her role as the glamorous movie star Ginger Grant on Gilligan's Island that cemented her place in television history. Louise's portrayal of Ginger Grant brought joy to millions of viewers around the world. The show, which aired from 1964 to 1967, became a cultural phenomenon and remains a beloved classic to this day. Despite the show's comedic nature, Louise's performance added a touch of elegance and charm that made her character unforgettable. In her later years, Tina Louise continued to act in various film and television projects, always striving to challenge herself with diverse roles. She also dedicated much of her time to charitable causes, including literacy programs and children's advocacy. Tina Louise was the last surviving cast member of Gilligan's Island, and her passing marks the end of an era. She leaves behind a legacy of talent, grace, and a body of work that will continue to entertain and inspire future generations. Our thoughts and condolences go out to Tina Louise's family, friends, and fans during this difficult time. She will be deeply missed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel Z Media.